Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Right here in front of me I have these two boxes that I received about I think a month ago. Just haven't had time to get around to them. So we're going to go ahead and dive into those. First we're going to have some of our coffee here by Black Rifle Coffee Company which is really good. And to open these boxes today we're going to be using our um, Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops Knife. So let's go ahead and dive into these boxes. Nice big old ammo can. I'm a big fan of ammo cans. They have many, many uses beyond just ammunition, even though I use them for the majority of storing ammunition. Um, but I prefer uh, metal ammo cans over the uh, plastic ammo cans and we'll get into that in a second but uh, let's open these up here so I get these from uh, MidwayUSA.com um, what I do is I get the combo pack that they have which you get uh, well as you can see right here you get one 20 millimeter ammo can followed by uh, two 50 cal ammo cans and two 30 cal ammo cans Alrighty, now that we got everything unpacked, as you guys can see in front of us, these are two orders. So each one of these orders comes with a 120 millimeter ammo can, followed by two 50 cal ammo cans and two 30 cal ammo cans. Again, these are uh, metal ammo cans, which I prefer over the plastic, and they are from MidwayUSA.com. The regular price is $99.99 for all five ammo cans, but every now and then they have a sale that you can get all five for $79.99 plus shipping. Um, from what I come across, I think these ammo cans are a lot better than the ones at Walmart. I think the ones at Walmart are made in China. Uh, these are made in the USA, so another great factor behind them. So let's take a closer look at these right here. Alrighty, so taking a look at our first ammo can here, this is the 20 millimeter ammo can. It's a very large ammo can. It's meant to hold uh, 20 millimeter rounds. Um, as you guys can see, these ammo cans, are, they are not surplus. These are brand new ammo cans. So the ring that you get around it and everything, the seal ring is brand new. You're not going to have to worry about it uh, being used. We have a little paint that comes off every now and then, uh, which is, you know, part of, part of having something like this and moving it around and so forth. So as we open it up here, as you guys can see, nice new fresh, uh, ring there uh, but this ammo can is brand new uh, 20 millimeter so it's quite a large ammo can as you guys can see you could store ammunition in it I do store ammunition in it but when this thing is full of ammo it's one how heck <laughs> sorry one heck of a heavy heavy ammo can it can definitely hold a lot of ammunition though. I think one of mine has like a, over 5,000 rounds of ammunition. It's not something you could pick up on your own and just run off and go. It's, you know, if you want to just store a lot of stuff in uh, one location, um, you can do that. Uh, also, you could use it for uh, medical supplies, uh, camping supplies, uh, survival supplies, um, SHTF supplies, other type of stuff that uh, would make it a lot lighter so you could pick it up yourself and get to go. But it's nice because again, it can hold a lot of stuff and you could toss it in your car if you didn't have it uh, super heavy or anything like that. Or if it was super heavy, if you had a buddy, you could do that as well. Let's look at the next one. Alrighty, so now we're looking at one of the 50 cal ammo cans. As you guys can see, humongous uh, size difference. Obviously 50 cal means that this uh, is meant to hold 50 uh, caliber rounds of ammunition. Um, open it up that just slides right back off um, so you guys can see it just hooks but again uh, the o-ring is brand new on these which is what I like all these ammo cans are brand new uh, 50 cal ammo can obviously used for many things uh, pretty much the same things uh, medical supplies uh, SHTF supplies camping supplies main course main obvious use would be ammunition um, but again the cans brand new um, I like them uh, they work wonderful. I've been using these cans for years now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Alrighty, now we're looking at uh, the uh, 30 cal ammo can. Same concept as the 50 cal ammo can. Same method for uh, for coming on. Just slides on, slides off. Obviously, you have the uh, brand new O-ring on it, as you guys can see. 
Sorry, it's a little blurry. Um, and then it's been hold a 30 cal round, so it's it's the smaller of the cans that I have, the ammo cans. Um, but again, same thing. Uh, ammunition, SHTF supplies, uh, medical supplies, camping supplies, basically anything you want. Um, these don't necessarily, you don't even have to necessarily use this stuff for uh, ammunition. The thing about these ammo cans is they're so great with your air tight and their uh, water uh, tight that you can store tons of different things in it if you wanted to just to make sure that that stuff is uh, is secured, is safe, is not going to get affected by uh, moisture or so forth like that. Now yes, when you do close it, um, you do get uh, some air in there so you could always put uh, some packs that absorb that moisture and that air and so forth like that. Uh, but again, I haven't had any issues with these whatsoever. Now let's go ahead and take a look at one of these with the uh, plastic ones. Alrighty, so now I have uh, some plastic ammo cans along with the uh, the new uh, metal ammo can that I just got. Now, looking first at this black one here, take these out of the way. Uh, this has the same concept of opening as this one, so you have this lip here, you just push it open. Whoopsie. <laughs> you push it, you pull it open, and you know, there you go. Um, uh, this is all plastic though, um, which I'm not a fan of. I do use the plastic ones for miscellaneous stuff, um, gun cleaning supplies, uh, range ammo, and stuff like that. But this just easily flops open. Very easily compared to where this is actually has, it actually seals together and closed. Meaning you, you have to pull up on that. And especially if this has been closed for a good amount of time, all that pressure that's already in there builds, especially as the days go by and the seasons, you have hot, cold and stuff, all that affects. So you get a good, nice sealed lock of pressure in there. So this actually becomes even harder to open as time passes by. Another uh, plastic ammo can I have is this one right here. Um, the way this opens is basically you just turn this until you see that. Let's see. So it's closed right now, closed. And then you turn and then it aligns and then you pop this open. So, again, the reason why I don't believe in storing long-term or very important stuff in plastic ammo cans is the fact that I don't believe they're, they are that good with keeping air out, and they're that good with keeping water out, and their durability factor. If this thing drops, depending on how high and how heavy it is, yeah, this thing might, you know, come open, but it's going to take a lot more then if this was full and heavy and you drop this, this could easily just break just because it's plastic or pop open. This, these have popped open on me. I've filled this with ammo, lifted it, and this has come undone. Um, these have tipped over before and they've come undone. So there's just not that durability, uh, structural, structural strength behind the plastic as there is with the metal cans and that's why for storing anything i think that would be considered important like my shtf ammo uh, my hd my home defense ammunition or other important things like that i would highly recommend the metal ammo cans you do pay more obviously because it's the metal ammo can but the durability factor the factor that I believe this my stuff's going to be safe in here if it's dropped or so forth like that. This is what I'm going to trust. This is good for, you know, maybe around the house stuff that you just want to store. Like I said, I put my range ammo in here because it's just range training ammunition um, or other kind of miscellaneous stuff like that. Uh, but these I have constantly run into issues with um, I've talked to people and they you know same thing you know um, they prefer the metal I have run into people who are like well you know this is cheaper and this just works for me so at the end of the day it's just my opinion on what I believe is better but you know there's those who believe that the plastic ones work great for everything and they believe in those and then there's those who believe the uh, metal ones work but again just wanted to do a short little video on ammo cans uh, they're they come in uh, handy very important to have on hand, especially storing your ammunition, especially if you're storing long-term ammunition um, or anything else that you, you know you may want to store and be able just to pick up, grab, and run, throw in your car, whatever the case may be, bug out situation or emergency situation. I mean, you can put anything you want in these ammo cans. But anyways, again, just wanted to do a short little video on ammo cans. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, comments, or anything like that, please leave those. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And you guys, thank you for checking out the video. You guys have a good day.